Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning back into the Kimmy's Renaissance channel. And before I get started, I do want to thank everybody who tuned into my very first ever video. Um, all the support, all the love, all the great comments um, was just, it was beautiful, it was amazing. Um, this is something, I, like I said, that I've wanted to do for a very long time. So for me to finally get started and receive kind of like the love that I did, um, it just makes me feel like, yeah, I need to keep going with this. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate all the support and the love and you guys made your sis feel like, yes, this is something she should be doing. So thank you guys. I'm gonna flash back to like two weeks ago when, you know, we were all having our turkey, our mac and cheese, we were all, you know, feeling good about ourselves, you know, very full. Um, and we're going to talk about Black Friday shopping and we're going to talk about what I got on my Black Friday and I'm going to do a mini try on haul with some of the stuff that I got. Um, so before I get started with showing you guys what I got, I do want to kind of like reminisce and talk about this Black Friday because it wasn't it no it wasn't it at all um so black friday this year was very was very it, it was very trash the discounts that some of these brands and some of these st uh, stores displayed wasn't it like we got things like 25 percent off we got 15 10 I'm pretty sure somebody did 5% off. Like, what is that? What even is that? Like, you guys have these discounts year round and us, the consumers, are waiting for Black Friday because most people do get things on Black Friday that they've been had on their wish list for a long time. And we were, I just feel like I was let down. I just felt like I expected more and it wasn't given to me and I just felt some type of ways. I feel like we need to redo Black Friday again, but hey, that's, that's just me. Um, yeah, the sales were very trash, so I didn't get as much as I hoped to have gotten, but I did get bits and pieces that, you know, I've been eyeing for a while um, that I thought, hey, you know what, this actually did go down a significant amount for me to purchase. So those are the items that I'm going to be showing you on today's video. And like I said, we're going to do a mini try on haul just to see how you can style, um, give you guys a perspective of how you would style some of these clothes and things like that. So before I get started again on showing you guys the items please do not forget to subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell down below so that you know anytime I post new content thumbs up this video because chances are if you like this video then your friends will like this video and then your friends moms will like this video and then so on and so forth and the cycle continues so go ahead and thumbs up this video um and yeah all right so um let's get started on just showing you guys some of the items that i got first thing i'm gonna start off with is my package from asos Yay, Asos! all right so quick disclaimer i already kind of opened the items because i get excited um when a package arrives at the door that I purchased because it was my guala, it was my money, I want to see what's inside. So I kind of already opened it up. I did not try it on. I did open it up though. Um, so sorry. I know. I know. I'm, I'm horrible. I should have waited, opened it up in front of you guys, but hey, it is what it is. So ASOS is our first, very first package. And I just got two items from ASOS. Like I said, the sales weren't as significant as it should have been. I actually clocked ASOS since last year. I've noticed this thing that they do, right? So on Thanksgiving Day, they'll have like a discount going on, right? And this year, the discount was 30% off on Thanksgiving Day. And last year, I kind of clocked them. I was like, oh, the sale's going to be better on Black Friday anyway, so I'm going to wait till midnight midnight came around and the sale was worse than the next day 
um, the, the day prior, sorry, than the day prior. So I was like, what is ASO trying to pull on us? Like, what? So I clocked them since last year. So this year, I decided to do my Black Friday shopping kind of early. So all these items were purchased on Thanksgiving Day and not on Black Friday. For example, in the case of ASO's, 30% off on Thanksgiving Day, Black Friday, 25% off. Like, y'all thought nobody would notice so I clocked them so I got my items 30% off so yay Kim uh, for you know clocking and researching uh, so yeah I only got two items from ASOS that I've been I, I I've been eyeing plus I'm not out here rich living but that lifestyle I'm not so that's all I could get I got two items um, the first of the items that I'm going to show you is this number it's a dress right here right here and let me just read what this dress is it's actually like a rouged kind of number and it's from ASOS and collision I think um collision is a, a UK brand maybe I'm not sure but this was their collaboration with ASOS and I really really like the whole lemon lime vibe that I'm getting from this. I like the arms up here in the shoulder area how it's giving me like 80s vibe because like 80s are definitely coming back. Don't sleep on the 80s. It's coming back and your girl's already on that wave. So this right here is it. I love this. Okay. Um, let me read you guys the pricing on there one minute so this dress right here is by collision it's a rouge bodycon mini dress in velvet yeah so the material is definitely quality and i love velvet I just it just makes i don't know if velvet makes you look snatchier but i just love what it does to me i got it in a size 10 um us size 10 and yeah it describes the color as yellow but i would give it more more lemon lime kind of neon vibe um and it was forty dollars i think with my discount was was hold up let me just do some math because it's not showing me on the app let's see yeah so i believe i got it for 28 dollars if my math is correct so it was forty dollars got 30 percent off i got it for 28 dollars and i'm not mad at that because the quality of this whew, like child i'm gonna do some damage whenever i decide to actually go outside next item i got from asos was actually this black turtleneck number and i really 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 like this it's just a basic black turtleneck not a crop top just a bl basic black turtleneck and i did get it in a size large um and this retailed for $24, but with my 30% off, I got it for like $16.80, which isn't bad. I know people are like, oh, for a turtleneck, $16 is still a little bit up there. I totally, I'm that person. I'm, I totally get it. But I'm more now focusing on quality over quantity. So I didn't mind splurging on this. Um, a little bit just because I wanted it to last me longer than my other mock necks have or my other turtlenecks have. Um, the brand is Stradivarius. 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 Jesus is love! Please don't butcher me. I don't know how to say that. But I really like the material. It's like a ripped material so it's very comfortable for the winter time which i am in i live in massachusetts it gets cold out here in these streets so guess what cover your necks people cover your necks ladies and gentlemen the following items that i got from all the other brands are shoes um i love shoes i just think shoes are amazing shoes are my best friend shoes sorry i actually have human best friends but shoes are just glorious so um i only got one pair from this brand but i've kind of been eyeing it i've been unsure about these type of shoes but i'm like hey let me just go for it so the brand is misguided 
misguided and I just with misguided it's always like a, a hit or a miss with them usually I hit with the shoes that I select um, with misguided I do have a couple shoes from um, misguided that I really really do like that help me with my journey to slayage however I've noticed with some of their clothes it's like eh, sometimes it's great sometimes it's not it's like you get what you get I mean they're very affordable they always have some type of uh, discount going on they also have a big student discount um, through uni days so that is amazing um, anyway let me stop rambling and get to the actual pair of shoes that I got another disclaimer I know I said I hadn't worn the things that I opened. I actually wore these shoes because there was a wedding I had to attend and they, it just went with my outfit. So I lied again. I'm sorry. It's just like, how are we going to build this relationship if I keep lying to y'all? Like, I don't know why I'm doing it. <laughs> um, sorry. Uh, but there's this clear kind of perspect. Pers perspex? Pers perspex shoes I don't know um, they have the closed toe I know that a lot of people that get these clear perspex um, they usually get the thick block with the one strap I, I don't know why I don't I don't like it it looks good on people but I just personally didn't like it so I do like this um, I don't know why um, I like the closed toe effect I love how thin the heel is. It's kind of like you're not wearing anything, but you are. You're just slaying on them. You're just doing a certain thing. So I really, really like these uh, pumps. Um, the only thing I have to say about clear shoes and perspex shoes is just be careful because, you know, they start to steam from the insides, which I know most of us know, but it looks so good. We're just like, I will deal with it. Um, so one thing I'm going to end up doing is probably poking a hole, two holes, um, either on this side, uh, just to give it breathability so that my feet ain't steaming because they 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 were um at the wedding also another good thing to note about these pairs of shoes they were so comfortable i don't know if all perspex are comfortable but these specific ones from misguided were so comfortable oh my gosh i ended up wearing slippers because i always do that at functions like i'm like i'm not even gonna risk it whether the shoe's comfortable or not if it got a heel i'm gonna put on slippers later but if i decided not to even put on slippers i would have been fine this was just it it was it was so comfortable so good job misguided I really 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 like these shoes the last pair of items which you guys already know are shoes Duh. <laughs> um, this is going to be from it's a big box but I didn't get much but it's a big box Zara we love Zara over here at this camp. We really do. We truly appreciate her and all that she has to offer. Um, the only thing we might be a little, you know, finicky about Zara is their pricing and the fact that they never have sales. They literally have like two or three sales a year and that's like their semi-annual um, sale, which I always hit because I always got to have the latest, like, trendiest items um yeah i got three pairs of shoes from zara um so i will go ahead and show you guys that oh by the way what i forgot to say was the misguided shoes retailed for like 56 uh, dollars but they had 50 percent off for black friday and that ended up being like 27 dollar ish around that range and we not mad at that because I believe that that is actually the true retail value, not 50 nothing. That should definitely be like max $30. So yeah, we weren't mad about it coming down to its actual pricing. But um, yeah, Zara. Zara had a 30% off uh, sale on Black Friday and on the Thanksgiving day. So they just stayed true all throughout. So I wasn't mad at them because I was like, oh, they didn't switch up on me. I don't like when people switch up on me. I don't like when things switch up on me. So I didn't feel no types of way over Zara. But anyway, let's uh, get into it. Uh, the first pair of shoes, let me set this here. The first pair of shoes, I've had something similar to them. They're boots, they're black boots. 
they are so so cute look at them can you see this do you guys pre this like I had something similar from New Look and um, I got that one like maybe two, three years ago. They, they Those have gotten their um, wear, so I'm giving them away, I'm like, giving them to like charity. But these ones I especially like because it just gives me a punk rock vibe, you know. You could just dress them down, dress them slightly up if you wanted to. I love the little zipper effect in the front that it has going on there super super cute um, I like it in black because that just means you can wear it with everything um, let me go to Zara's my Zara order list so I can give you guys the price of this um, yeah so I got them for $48.93 um, on Black Friday or the day before um, but I believe originally they were in the $60 range Oh no, originally it was $69.90. Yeah, this has it on the tag right there. So $69.90. We're not mad that we got it for $48. That's that's a bargain. I'm not mad. Plus, they feel um very, very quality. So I literally will be living in these boots. Um Yeah. The next pair of shoes that I got are also boots. These ones I would say you can more dress them up than anything. Um, and I really, really, really like them. So these pairs right here. And what gravitated me towards these boots? First of all, the material that was used to make them. I don't know, what would this be called? It's very shiny, it's very like patent-like. Um, I really like them. Um, also look at the bottom. It has like these stripe effects going. I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't know if my camera's gonna adjust. It doesn't respect me. And then last thing I really liked about it is just the structure of the heel itself. It kind of like flares out. Do you guys see that? Do you see how it flares out? Like it starts off flaring out, gets thinner, thinner, and then kind of does a quick like little flare again. Um, <laughs> I'm bad at describing things. You guys will will notice that's very very fast but um, I really like it um, you can definitely dress these up um, on a night out uh, just wear it however you want but <laughs> I really know that when I decide to go outside I could do potential damage with this so that excites me now those these pairs of shoes were originally $49.90 uh, so $49.90 on the tag, but I purchased it for $34.93. We can't be mad at that. We can't be. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop that right now. <laughs> All right. And then the last pairs of shoes that I got, surprisingly, aren't boots. They're, they're not. They're kind of like these. What would you call these? I know they have a specific name, but I totally forgot. Um, but they're definitely really cute. Uh, let me see what it calls it on here. It calls it a vinyl strap sandal. So, okay, it's a vinyl strap sandal then. Um, it's in like a cool gray kind of color. I don't know if you guys see it. It has that clear strap that usually turns me off on like full purse back heels but because this is not a full purse back I don't mind it it's so cute and I know you guys can kind of see the tag it says um, it was originally $59.90 I love the little short heel kitten heel effect it's giving me um, I love that the front right here instead of it being rounded it's actually kind of like flat um, I really like that because it gives me like a kind of 60s 70s vibe and your girl in this corner in this area you know we're very retro we're very thrift friendly we're very throwback we're just all about it so this excites me I really like it and like I said if I ever decide to go out I could do potential damage with this invite me places guys invite me so I can I can do a little something something I can do a little bit of damage 
invites me out <laughs> um, so these all my shoes are in a size 10 and I purchased it for $41.93 with my discount but originally it was $59.90 yeah so those are all the items that I purchased for Black Friday um, yeah um, I'm very excited about all the items that I got because I know I'm gonna first of all get longevity out of them um, they are pretty quality items and like I said I'm I'm more I used to be the person who was like quantity quantity like I just this one's trending so I need to have that this one's like no no more the money ain't there for that so now I'm more like no quant uh, quality if it's quality I know that it's gonna last long and certain trends do come back so if you're a person who's all about trends I would get quality items because they end up coming back anyway and when they come back you already have kind of a vintage type of situation already in your closet so might as well just swoop those on and go about your day and save your coin so that's where I'm kind of leaning more towards so I'm very happy about Zara I'm very happy about ASOS I'm very happy about misguided um yeah so you guys let me know what type of items you guys were into that I showed um, on this video let me know uh, if you guys like the way I styled the items or how you guys would style it you guys know I appreciate your comments and your feedback keep them nice guys but um, yeah let me know what you felt about this overall video even um, and if you would like to see more videos like this also don't forget to follow me on social media Instagram snapchat Twitter I have them all going to be in the description box below um, and also on my outro so don't forget to follow me on my social interact with me there I interact back um, if you have any questions um, and come back for next time's video um, that's everything so with that being said thank you guys for tuning in today to the Kimmy's Renaissance channel I will see you guys on the next one